Hey there, survivors, and welcome on back to another loot tutorial covering Tizzy Military Base, located in the northwestern side of the map of Janaris. Of all of the military bases in Janaris, Tizzy is probably one of my favorites, and one of the largest if we exclude Northwest Airfield, so let's take a look at it. We're going to have six different zones, starting with the barracks. We've also got the firing range to worry about, the administration center located in the center, the warehouse industrial buildings, the helicopter landing pads, and Tent City. Of all of these, we're going to take a look slowly, starting with the barracks. As we go over the barracks location, you're going to notice one thing right off the bat. We have a lot of different buildings that are all very dense with military loot. That is why I say this is in the top two of spots to go, but not the best location to go for loot in Tizzy. Looking through these, you're going to be able to find lots of ammunition, high-tech scopes and night vision goggles, gear, uniforms, possibly even guns, food, or canteens. The more you look around these areas, you've got to make sure to not miss a nook or cranny. Check inside your shipping containers, they do sometimes have great things. For those of you in my comments that have been asking about how to find tents, camo gear, well, right in this building we found two of them. You can take those on out and pop those up and set up your own base somewhere else. Ideally, not where I did, right outside the military facilities. Second up, we're going to be going over to the firing range. Now, the firing range is a very pretty location, if nothing more. It's comprised of three main buildings, one of them being just a basic industrial, the other one being this huge and very unique yellow administration building. I can only guess what it would have been used for. The geometry of this building is out of whack. As you move around, you're going to notice there's not much loot. It's not really worth your time unless you're going to be climbing up onto the roof to take some pot shots at people coming on or leaving Northwest Airfield or heading towards those barracks kind of close to this front gate. Now, on the firing range, there's really nothing other than targets. A great place to go roleplay, but you're going to end up getting enough experience shooting zombies that you're not going to need to come out here and practice your aim. Unless you're really bored. So just wrapping this segment up, this is the only building you're going to want to check out. This big dome, can looking building. Other than that, this place isn't worth your time or your energy. Next, we're going to go over the administration buildings, a collection of three buildings prominently placed right in the center of Tizzy. First one, on the far left, is very vacant. I'm able to walk in here, and after looking around a little bit, I find an assault backpack, but further looking in the building yields almost nothing, and it was not worth your time. I would skip this building entirely, unless, just like the yellow building over at the shooting range, you need to come up here and pop shots off at people. Another thing to keep in mind with these buildings is the danger of rooftop snipers. Once you've made your peace with the possibility of imminent death, we head on down to one of the more popular buildings, the Military Prison House. This guy's going to have loot stashed under the stairwell you'll want to check as well as the back room on the first floor and at the top of the staircase around the back here. Also a great place for campers to camp, so be very careful when entering this building. Checking through the back room, you'll also find some good stuff. Last building in the administration lineup, if you could, is this strange broken down building most people might choose to skip. I seem to have great luck whenever I go inside of one of these. I'm finding gear left and right all over the floor. This might just be the fact that people skip it due to its dilapidated state. Next up, we go into the warehouses. This is not a remarkable segment, so we're going to keep it pretty short. Just like in any city near the shipping yard, you'll find shipping containers that may have military loot, and the only guaranteed military loot spawn is this double hanger that's not very remarkable once more. Tizzy seems to have a lot of that. Going around the back here, we get to a bunch of regular old warehouses. Nothing but zombies and disappointment. I'd stay clear of here, especially considering it's out of the way of all the other military locations on Tizzy. Why bother? You've got better things to do. Like, say, 
heading over to the helicopter landing platforms. Now, I say you have better things to do, again, skip this location. Unless you're in a tight pinch and you desperately need a gun, this is just a waste of time and they're so far apart you're wasting energy as well. Running around, up and down ramps, you might as well just throw your hands up and walk out in the middle of the northwest. There's not much up here, but you do get a good view. And you're not going to see these structures anywhere else. The only thing I'd recommend hitting is running into this guard outpost and seeing if there's anything just should you be around. Don't make this a stop. It's not, not worth your time. If you are going to be pressed to loot this, might as well check out the two hangers, two double hangers. Make sure when you go through and loot these, not only do you check the front, but you make your way through to the back and check the back rooms. That's where you're going to find ammo spawns, magazine spawns, but you should see those lying around just about everywhere else. Steer clear and instead head on over to Ten City. This is the densest place in all of Tizzy to find loot possibly even the densest place in all of Chinaris to find loot. There's going to be zombies. There's going to be players. But you came out here for loot. So get it and scoot. But in all seriousness, once you do clear up the hordes outside, head on in, grab yourself some guns, grab yourself some gear. If you have friends with you when you're looting a tent city like this, try not to all be in different tents. Have someone watch out. There's watchtowers all over the place. Don't risk life and limb just because you need a gun. You don't need a gun. You're in the northwestern side of the map. If you don't have a Makrov already, I don't know what you're doing. Come on, go get yourself a Makrov or something. Maybe a CZ Scorpion you find in a guard. Come on, guys. Once you need good stuff, that's when you come up here. But make sure you got your firepower. Thanks again for watching this video, and a shout out to my Patreon subscriber, Topher. You really do help me. Keep on going with this. If you like this video and you want to see more, feel free to drop some comments, let me know what you want to see, leave a like, pop up the subscribe button, and you will get notified whenever I send on out some new content. Until next time, keep on surviving survivors, and I will see you around.